is this the right time to buy a Canon R5 or Sony A7S 3 We all know the state of the world right now. We've got a global pandemic, unemployment over 20% in the U.S., but things like cameras, video games, high-end cars always kind of seem to some extent, not 100%, but to a large extent, recession-proof. And I suppose that's the situation that we're going to be in just July with these new top-tier cameras that are going to be very popular making their way to market. So there's an argument to be made about is this the right time? Eh, for a lot of people. A lot of people weren't going to get them anyway. These cameras are going to be priced for a certain niche audience to begin with. So, yeah, timing-wise, okay. Is it the kind of camera that would have sold better in better times? I don't know. I mean, the shortage is probably going to be there up front, and I never really believe in getting first off the assembly line cameras because there's going to be updates, not, you know, product breaking updates, but there's going to be online updates to fix whatever needs to be fixed in these cameras. So early adopters always get screwed. So I never really recommend being an early adopter to brand new electronics and that includes cameras. So having said all that, yeah, it's just as good a time as any to drop these cameras. We thought the A7S was just going to disappear into vaporware. <laughs> it's been so long since we've seen stuff from that. Think about this, the A7R3 and A7R4 all came out with new models since the A7S2. Whoa. As far as that camera goes, I am super curious to see what that megapixel count is going to be like. I know the video is going to be fine, but I'm wondering how's the still size of that camera. Canon can do a still camera in their sleep at this point. Still is going to be fine with the R5 as well as R6. And those are going to be viable options, I think, when Sigma and now even Tamron gets more RF glass out to the market. So I'm recording this on the eve of the Canon press conference. The Sony is going to be in the next week or two and we'll have the answers before this month is out. I am indeed excited. I will close with this. I had a friend who saw some Sony A7 III footage not too long ago and he's not into cameras at all. And he's like, this is that? What cameras look like that people have in their house now? And it's like, yes, it is very refreshing for lack of a better word. I don't know the word to use. Yeah, just to see somebody with a fresh perspective who isn't always around this camera stuff and always paying attention to the market and video making and all those kind of things like I do <laughs> and like you do for watching this video. Uh, it's just nice to see a, a fresh take on this. It is a very cool time. It is very neat gear that's coming out and I can't wait to get my hands on something. I actually would probably like to do a rental before plopping down cash on either one. Personally, I am hopeful that there's a few things from the A7R4 that the new Sony has in it. And I am hopeful that damn flip out screen is finally there. If there's no flip out screen, I'm not gonna riot or anything. I'm just gonna be like, what, what the, f what, what? All right, everybody have a good time enjoying new camera launches. I will check back in with you a little bit later on in life. And these quick talks straight out of cameras, I don't do a whole lot of editing and all that fancy stuff I like to do. Just talk to you. That's all I want to do. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy what we're talking about. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to never miss a shot. I mean, Renegade's over here. You can't see him. <laughs> but hit that like button and subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com.